Hi. Uh, very nice to meet you. Uh, I was in the front row taking pictures. Great show. <laughs> and uh, first of all, um, when you started Pins during your early days, you said that the band was just like a part-time thing and uh, you were not expecting to make money and pay your bills with it. And I suppose your lives are changed a lot from then. And uh, how has it changed? And um, would you say the same today? It's changed in a lot of ways in the sense that we now go on tour all of the time and we get to play with like amazing people and we get to visit amazing countries. But it's still kind of the same. We have the same practice space. We still go there to write our songs and we still, you know, record our demos in the same way and like the process is still the same. And um, you've been touring a lot as well recently, um, with uh, like, like for your own tour and uh, supporting other bands like uh, Crocodiles, Little Kidney, Babes in Thailand and names like that. And um, you have also reached the US stages pretty far for a young European band. And um, what are your favorite special moments, if there are any, of this tournée uh, now, until now? Um, there are loads of special, like loads of amazing shows that we play, and all for different reasons. Um, I really enjoyed playing in Berlin with Sleater Kinney because uh, they're a really incredible band, and it was quite inspirational to be playing with them and to see them still going after so long. You know, like the longevity of the band is inspiring. Um, when we did like a headline show in New York, that was kind of special. Like it felt like an achievement. Um, the, everywhere, well, I don't know, I really enjoyed everywhere we played in America and I always enjoy all the bands that we tour with for one reason or another. Um, there's always something to take from it, so yeah. Um, about your uh, last album, um, you have uh, Rancho de la Luna, the Joshua Tree Desert and uh, also a Super 8 footage of the making of and um, this sounds like a dream for any musician. Is it dream or is it true? How was that? Um, recording at Rancho de Luna was really amazing and um, yeah, probably is a bit of a dream come true because we had it as somewhere that we wanted to go for a while and then finally we did get to go there and it was probably, I don't think we knew what to expect but it was absolutely is it better than we could have expected and very peaceful and easy to work there and easy to be creative. It was the top of our list of places to go and record and it was also the first place that we asked. So they said when Dave said yeah we were just like great like it was just like the number one choice and then we got to go and then he was great and it all went smoothly and exactly how we wanted it to. Yeah it was really good we'd like to go back. <laughs> Would you also release a, a proper making of like a, this uh, Super H footage I've seen? Would, would it become um, like a making of documentary about it? Um, no, because mostly because there's not enough footage and also the camera we have doesn't record sound. Uh, I guess we could overdub it afterwards, but it might not be as good. Make loads, make loads of those Super 8 videos everywhere, though. Like the next video, the next single is called Dazed by You, and the uh, video was filmed in America on Super 8. So, yeah, not, not a documentary, but we are, we are going to use the footage that we've got from on all of our trips. Yeah, we have them all. I have them all in a shoebox, and they're all digitized, and we have all the original footage still. So, who knows, maybe one day. They'll become part of a making of pins. <laughs> yeah, why not? And in the end, how was uh, playing here in Basto and the festival? And um, I think, I suppose this is your first time in Italy. And how was that? Not our first time. We played, we did a small run of dates last year where we went to like Rome, Pordenone, uh, um, Florence. Um, so, like, we have played in Italy before but we've not played in Basto before. But we've only been here a few hours so it's difficult to say but so far so good. Yeah it's a very beautiful place and all the way down, the, we drove all the way down the coast and just watched the sea the whole way down, been in a dying to jump in it because it's so hot. Yeah, We've been in the hot van for like eight hours today so it's torture to play on the stage and see the sea <laughs> but we couldn't go in it. So. Maybe tomorrow. 
I hope you'll make it tomorrow to the beach. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you from Fun Week. I hope you enjoy the rest of your time in Italy, everywhere in your tour. Thank you so much. <laughs>